Uh, it's an honor for me to, uh, to introduce Ambassador Ravan Farhadi to you. Ambassador Farhadi is a man of many parts and many virtues. Uh, he is uh, an academician because he has been a professor at eminent universities, the University of Sorbonne in Paris, uh, the University of uh, the Australian National University in Canberra, uh, Berkeley uh, in, uh, the, in California, and so a prominent academician. Uh, he is a prominent diplomat because he has been a member of his foreign service for a large number of years. Uh, and has written to the highest post. He's been ambassador in France. He's been ambassador to the United Nations for a dozen years and has the extraordinary privilege of being the only ambassador that I know of who has presented his credentials to two secretary generals. He's had t twice presented his credentials at the United Nations in the 10 or 12 years that he has been here. Uh, He's a person, he's a politician, uh, because he has seen both ends of the political spectrum, one end of which me is being in prison, and the other end is being uh, a deputy foreign minister. So he has seen the high end and the low end of uh, politics in his country. Uh, he is, above all, a person who's an extraordinary human being, and it is as a human being that I would like to introduce him uh, to you. Uh, I have uh, had the pleasure of uh, being with him now for, uh, for 10 or 12 years, during which we've seen a lot of vicissitudes. We've sat on the same side of the table when we were both fighting the Soviets in order to get them out of uh, a country which they had invaded and occupied and raped and ravaged. Uh, then we sat on opposite sides of the table when Pakistan uh, recognized the Taliban and uh, Ambassador Farhadi uh, looked at, I, I, I saw him as a person who did not represent Afghanistan because we were recognizing the Taliban and he saw me as the representative of the axis of evil because uh, all problems of Afghanistan were being created by Pakistan which was largely uh, true. And then we sat on the same side of the table again because the Taliban disappeared and uh, normalcy returned uh, to Afghanistan and uh, we are once again on the same side. But what I wanted to tell you was that during these vicissitudes where I was shifting sides of the table, he, he was a constant on his side of the table, I was sometimes on his side and sometimes across the table from him, uh, at all stages, I received the utmost courtesy and respect for him, and he received the utmost respect and affection from me. And that shows the absolute greatness of a person who is one of the senior most ambassadors in the United Nations, who is a man of heart and soul, and it is therefore as a human being and a very great human being that it gives me great pleasure to introduce Ambassador Farhadi to you. Well, I'm so sorry for having taken the wrong route, uh, <laughs> having turned in the, uh, uh, I mean, in the river, uh, we, we turned left, and this was why I lost my my way and all of us and our driver became crazy uh, but uh, 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 i'm sure that with a man like ambassador kamal you have been entertained uh, quite uh, enough and uh, i'm 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 sure that he can talk uh, he he can talk to to a gathering like you a, a sophisticated gathering for uh, for hours. So, and uh, there is a map that it can be distributed at this. <coughs> if I were speaking about Iraq, you, there would be no need of a map because everybody had. But uh, we, we have 
the question of Afghanistan. And uh, I think that there is no, still there is no need that I talk about generalities because I'm sure that you are, uh, many of you are quite aware of what, of, about what's happening. And what is important that Afghanistan is a very strange country. Everybody knows that it's a landlocked countries. It's the classical landlocked countries. It existed uh, since long time, and then we had regained our independence by fighting the British India, and then uh, it happened that Afghanistan was also one of the first members of the United Nations, and also was a member in the League of Nations, I mean before uh, uh, the Second World War. In the Second World War, Afghanistan remained neutral, was not engaged in any side, and so we made economy of one war, on, which was a world war. But we didn't know <coughs> that what is in store for us. And recently, we had 22nd years of conflicts, of armed conflicts. Before the famous date of 11th of September. Afghanistan is a country which was a model of coexistence between two blocks, the Soviet bloc and then the Western bloc. And we had in Afghanistan in a freedom for recognizing Bund government and not Berlin, the communist Berlin Germans. So we had this possibility of choosing, <coughs> of option. And uh, Afghanistan was very much respected in that time. If we had one difficulty with uh, one country, it was Pakistan because of the some kind of claim of Afghanistan, a redentist claim about the Pashtuns, because the Pashtuns are on both sides of the frontier. The frontier is called Durand Line, by the name of the Mr. Durand. And in both sides, Pashtuns are living about equal number, and Afghanistan was, in a way, claiming maybe more autonomy, more freedom for the Pashtun part of Pakistan, uh, for what, which, which was called Northwestern Frontier. It is still called Frontier Province. Now, I think in that case, maybe the Afghans were not right for the, making that claim because uh, it would be possible to have more and more autonomy for these Pashtuns by talking to Pakistan very friendly. But even in that time, uh, there were so many Pakistani personalities who were thinking that Afghanistan has to be a friend of Af uh, Pakistan has to be a friend of Afghanistan, and we, uh, I, I, I remember them, I have met them, and we, there is a, such a link between people of both sides of the frontiers, I mean both sides, somebody who comes from Lahore 